Hi, my name is Michael Grant. I'm the Head of Sales here at West One Loans for Bridging and Development Finance. For me, the most important or the most enjoyable part of the job is seeing a deal through from cradle to grave, understanding the journey that the customer and the client goes through to complete a deal. So uh, being involved from throughout is very, very important to me. And then having the satisfaction of telling the customer or the client that we've now completed. So it brings me great satisfaction to know that we can do that for a customer. Probably chain break is probably the most common bridge loan. Or, or for me, that was the main reason as to why Bridging Loans came about in the first instance. So understanding the journey from a purchase of a property um, for whatever reason in the process that that broke down and then you know, ultimately need a bridging loan in order to bridge that gap to allow you to complete your purchase. So understanding you've got a property that you're buying, for one reason or another you haven't been able to sell your property, therefore you need a bridging loan in order to fill that gap until your property sells. So auction purchase um, is very much uh, a purchase under restraints of time. So typical auction purchase 28 days from the point of when you put down your deposit. Um, in order to try and get traditional finance, it's very, very difficult to obtain a mortgage within that period of time. So a bridging loan would be your best route of finance in order to complete on your purchase. Again, this is quite often the case where it happens where you've got unexpected invoices to pay for the day-to-day -day running of a business. Using bridging finance allows you that relief uh, for business owners and workers to continue on their day-to-day -day running of their business. For this one, it's very, very simple. So we uh, use bridging finance in order to do refurbishment of uninhabitable properties. So properties where, for example, are not mortgageable at this particular stage, you could use them for light, heavy, medium refurbishment works to the property, whether that be conversion of bathroom, kitchen, um, or other appliances within the property, whether it's structural or non-structural, uh, we can look to assist with a bridging loan to do that. Using a bridging loan for all tax bills can happen quite often. So again, you could be, uh, you could be hit with bills that are unexpected within the business. Uh, this allows you the relief to pay off a bill within an allotted time frame. Again, we use that quite often um, and that can be done to help the business manage their cash flow throughout their term. So bridging finance for development finance exit is uh, quite a common route. Uh, developers often have a facility whereby they have to uh, build a property or property within an allotted time frame and then have the time to be able to sell the property for one reason or another. This doesn't always happen within that time frame and therefore Development Exit product is the perfect product for the developer in order to give them the time to sell their properties. This is quite common, um, especially when um, properties are in a position where the banks are looking to repossess uh, for mispayments or miscalculation of their finances. Uh, what we can offer is a bridging loan to allow them the time to sell the property and to give the customer back the control to do so. And therefore, I think this is a perfect opportunity to do that when we can. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, some of what I've said is informative, if not all, um, and does spring to mind in terms of any requirements that you have from a brilliant perspective. So please get in touch. Thank you very much.